every science has its own terminology, its own language. If we are to study that science, if we are to explore it, and if we are to apply it, we must learn its technology, its terminology, and its language. Imagine as a medical doctor, if I were to talk to you about the brain, the nervous system, the special senses, the cranial nerves, and instead of using the medical terminology that is derived from Greek and Latin, if I were to say, you know that jelly-like substance in your head that's like a walnut, you know those two pieces that look like half and half apples, and you know those long sp spaghetti-like things coming out of it, uh, and you know that uh, auditory system of the camera and the speakers that are there within your head, you would say, you know, are you really a doctor? Do you know anything about medical science? You are not speaking the language of science. If I were talking about the pancreas, the endocrine, with the islets of Langer hands and the alpha beta cells giving us glucagon and insulin, or the exocrine pancreas giving us all the digestive enzymes. And if I were talking about it and I tell you, you know, down there in the middle part of your body, you know that long sweet potato like uh, pink thing that, you know, squirts out some tomato uh, juice and, you know, that helps you eat your food. And, you know, you know, once in a while your sugar goes up and down and it does something for it. Wouldn't you doubt me as a medical practitioner, as a medical doctor, as a scientist, if I were not using the medical terms? Same thing happens when we are studying yoga, when we are exploring yoga and we are applying it. Yoga is a science. We must not lose track of that. And that science has specific technology and terminology and the language derived from Sanskrit. When we are using the Sanskrit terms, we are using the language of yoga. When we talk about the prana values, when we talk about the aspects of the chakras, when we talk about the asanas as vrikshasana, as Natarajasana rather than the tree pose, the dancer pose, which are like saying that walnut in your head, that pink potato in the middle part of your body. That's as bad as it is. Yet people think it is okay because they say, oh, Sanskrit's a difficult language. Well, as a medical student, Latin and Greek are also difficult for me. These terminologies do not come easy. But when you want to learn that science, you make the effort, you put in your time to learn the terminology. You can then describe it. You can say Vrikshasana, the tree pose, nothing wrong in it. Natvajasana, but again, Natvajasana becomes the dancer. The dancer can be any, any dancer doing any form of dance. Natvaja is the cosmic principle of transformation. The divine dancer who dances into creation and out of existence, the whole cosmos. Such amazing stuff is hidden in the language, in the terminology. But often I find people thinking that they don't like it. I don't like Sanskrit, so I'm not going to use it. That's from India, that place out there. Well, I could say the same of medical knowledge also if I were doing it that way. We have to be serious about it. We, we have to put in our time, our energies. That is where our sincerity comes in. And recently I had someone have a big argument with me over the net about how, you know, Sanskrit is an old language. It's a dead language. It doesn't uh, come into play today, blah, 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 blah. And I had to remind them that I'm fine if they don't want to use Sanskrit. But then they should not call what they are teaching yoga at all because the word yoga itself is Sanskrit. Call it something else. Call, call it union, call it unification, call it integration, call it exercise, call it lifestyle. But do not call it yoga if you do not want to use its specific terminology. If you are going to study yoga, if you are going to explore it, and if you are going to apply it, be true to the science of yoga. 
use its scientific terminology, speak its language, and then it will surely be yoga. If not, it is your choice, but then do not call it yoga.